Hey guys, welcome to Under the Hood. I want to show you why you can flush out a heater core with air, water, or both, and think that it is completely free flowing and that it should heat, but you still won't get any heat. So here we go. This is the inside of a heater core. See how the top is open, but the bottom, it's plugged up. So more than half of this, about two thirds is restricted. Water comes in the pipes at the top, comes in this end, goes out the pipe at the other end and right through. So as you can see, if water goes in and it's clear on the top, it's gonna to flow right on through, right? Yeah, now, if we were to take this heater core and say, put it up in front of a, we put it up in front of this window here with cold air and we tape all around it so the cold air is blowing right through this core. Now we've got the hot air coming through the core or we got cold air coming through the core. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean, but it's only going to heat on this section over here, which has coolant flowing through it because this half is clogged. Now, part of your dash is cold, part of your dash is hot. That's because half the core is plugged up. Does that make sense? I have people ask me all the time, why is my heater core plugged up? I, it doesn't make sense. I flushed it out. It flows great to there. Water goes through it. I blew it out there. It should be just fine. Well, it's because this core is plugged up on half and not the other half. Hope that makes a lot of sense. See you guys under the hood. Take care.